Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to give you my top 5 shortcuts to save you time when using an open office calc. So I've already got calc open here and the first shortcut that I want to show you is the autofill function that I use quite often. So let's say in this column I type in month and here I'll type in day and here I'll just type in number. And here I'll type in Jan for January, I'll type in Monday, and the number one here. And let's say if you want to fill in all the days, all the, all the months in a year, you can simply click on this little black icon in the bottom right hand corner, the little black square, and you can drag down and you'll get all of the months. You can do the same with the days. and you can also series fill numbers as well we call this series filling so that's my first tip the second tip is sometimes in between columns you want to add or in between these rows of data you want to insert more rows so I used to right click and insert row and let's just say I wanted to insert 10 you can see I'm inserting them one by one um, that is one way to do it but if you have to insert 20 or 50 blank rows it's going to take you quite a bit of time so to speed that up you can insert the first one and then insert the second one then select two rows and then do insert and it will insert two at a time you see and then you can select all of these and then do insert and it's going to insert more quickly so I hope that makes sense you can select all of these and insert and then you'll get that double amount, it will basically double what you're inserting. So that's the quick way to insert lots of rows and I find that quite useful if I need to insert a lot of blank rows. The next tip is to show you how to um, replicate formulas. So let's say we've got a number here and we've got another number here and we'll start with a different value here series fill down and then we'll have total here and this is column D this is column E so we can say equals D2 plus it should be C2 plus D2 so we're just adding these two values together you can click on here and then you can series fill the formula to give you all of the values. So if you had your excluding VAT and your um, VAT amount, this could be the total including VAT, for example. So that's how you can quickly series fill uh, a formula. I find that quite useful. Sometimes you want to select all of the information on a spreadsheet. And you can click here and drag down and select it all. But if you've got a lot of data, that's a little bit tricky, especially if it's a lot of data going down. So you can do that by clicking on this little button in the top left-hand corner, this blank cell here, or this blank uh, box here. And that will select the whole spreadsheet. And you can go and do something like bold. You can center it, right align it. You can do the formatting, change the font. So you can do a lot of things just by selecting the whole spreadsheet. You can do the same by, if you want to select a whole row, you can click on the number one here and that will select the row and you can make the titles just bold, for example. Okay, the final tip that I want to give to you is, um, let's say, for example, in this column, we'll put change this one to, we'll format this cell to a currency and we'll just series fill this for data. So let me just shrink down some of these cells, let's just uh, change them like here. So sometimes you want to see the 
the titling or the information so like Monday Tuesday you want to see the four labels in here you want to see all of the data and when you're filling in data in a spreadsheet you may want to just resize the columns quite quickly you can do that by selecting the whole spreadsheet here and then just double clicking in between two columns you'll see this little cursor will appear when you double click it will resize all of the columns automatically you can do the same with the rows as well if you have rows of data with more than uh, one line on it so I find that quite useful um, especially if I want to format the cells and the columns quite quickly in terms of their width and height so you can just select it all double click and it will format it to the correct uh, width for each column okay that's my first five tips I'm gonna do a few different examples of this this is part one and we'll do a part two next time and I'll show you some other tips of how I use um, OpenOffice Calc and some quick shortcuts that I use. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.